Hi and welcome back to our channel and to our June Catholic Cookbook Challenge. I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and every month this year we are trying a new to us recipe from a different Catholic cookbook. And this month we are trying this book, Dinner Party with the Saints, which just by looking through this book we can tell that it's going to be a lot of fun. It has some great recipes, an interesting storyline, and so much more. up front that we are really enjoying this book so far. It is so fun to read. Imagine 16 different saints in heaven and they're working together to plan this big dinner party. What are they saying to each other? What are they cooking and planning to serve? And who are they inviting? So the author is having fun trying to answer all these questions and more. So each chapter has one saint and one recipe that the saint might actually have cooked or eaten. For example, the chapter for St. Francis has a recipe for almond cookies, which were his absolute favorite. And each chapter gives you a biography of the saint, but also a ton of fun facts about the life and times of the saint. There are also two prayers in each chapter at the end, one a traditional prayer that the saint either wrote or is associated with, and then a shorter prayer asking for the saint's intercession, and then also a quote from the saint. And there's also a fun fictional storyline woven throughout the book, following the saints that they're talking with each other and getting ready for this big potluck dinner that they're serving. So it's a lot of fun and it makes you want to keep reading. Today we're making two recipes from this book. On June 29th, we have the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul. So in honor of St. Peter, we are making what else? A fish recipe his Parmesan and Parsley Crested Roasted Tilapia. And then in honor of St. Kateri, whose feast day is July 14th, we're going to be making the Three Sisters Corn Wraps with squash, beans, and roasted corn. So we're going to start with the fish first, and the ingredients for that is, obviously, you need the fish. Then we have oregano, lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, paprika, garlic, parsley and basil, salt and pepper, plain breadcrumbs, and olive oil. So a lot of spices. A lot of spices. Before we get started with cooking, just wanted to share a couple of the fun facts that we learned about this recipe from the book. Number one is that St. Peter was a fisherman on the Sea of Galilee, which actually is not a sea, it's a large freshwater lake. And there are 20 different kinds of fish that live in the Sea of Galilee, but tilapia is one of the most common. So it's definitely a fish that Peter caught often. He would have eaten it all the time. So of course it's going to be the fish that he takes to the dinner party. We're starting off by making the topping for the fish with the breadcrumbs, the cheese, the salt and pepper. Then we're adding all the different spices in and I'm going to stir it all up. After that, we're adding in our olive oil, giving that a good mix. Parsley, we cheated and used dried parsley. Then lemon juice and garlic. And that's what it looks like, a little bit orange. Now it's time to put it all on top of the tilapia fillets. We're trying to squeeze all six onto our oiled baking sheet to make cleanup easier. Then putting the topping on each piece, and we had a lot of toppings, so we tried to use it all up. They're going into an oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Now we're going to move on to the Three Sisters recipe, which features corn, squash, and beans. The Three Sisters, because the Native Americans would often plant them together because they all help each other. The corn stalks provide support for the beans to grow up on. The beans provide nitrogen to the soil, and then the big squash leaves would cover the soil so it would stay moist, and also that shade would prevent the weeds from growing. And for this recipe, you do need the squash, the corn, beans, you need green onions, then a regular onion, garlic, salt, pepper, and olive oil. 
So from the book, we learned a couple of fun facts about St. Kateri. Number one, I didn't know this, I don't know how I missed this, but Kateri is actually the Mohawk word for Catherine, and St. Kateri was named after St. Catherine of Siena, so that's pretty cool. Also, Kateri was known to be an excellent cook, so of course if you're having a dinner party in heaven, you are going to invite St. Kateri and ask her to bring along one of her specialties. Here we go, starting with the yellow summer squash. We are cutting it in half lengthwise a few times so that ultimately we can cut it into cubes that can go into the oven to be roasted, along with the green onions that Kate's dicing up here. She's going to put those into the pan with the squash to be roasted, along with the onions. And then here it all is on an oiled baking sheet. She's adding salt and pepper and some garlic. Then mixing it all up so it can go in the hot oven. Next, we're taking the corn kernels off the cob. So it's raining corn on Bishop Beagle and he is just in Beagle heaven. Now we're heating up the cast iron skillet to roast the corn kernels with some salt and pepper. Then we're going to add in the beans and the roasted vegetables. And the dish is really starting to come together. And now let's take a look at the final product. It smells so delicious. Okay, so here we are with the final product. We have St. Peter's tilapia and the Three Sisters bean, corn, and squash and it smells so good in here right now. Yes, it does. And this you can use with chips like we have here as a side, or you could put it in a wrap like they kind of have it in the original title. Three Sisters Wrapped. So now onto the most important thing, the taste testing. Okay, so we divided up the main plate into two and we're going to go ahead and taste the bean, squash, and corn first. Oh, that is so good. I just didn't imagine it would be so delicious. Definitely a winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excuse me, I have to go eat the whole can. <laughs> There's not even that much in here, but it just tastes. Yeah, it's a simple really, ingredients, really but good. it just tastes really good. Now we're going to try the tilapia. Also delicious, very good. Tapia is a mild fish, but all the herbs and seasonings, I think really bring the dish together. Yeah. The nice thing about doing these cooking videos is that it's fun to be in the kitchen together, but then also we have dinner already. Mm -hmm. Hidden benefit. So we ate quite a large amount and it was all delicious. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I think this cookbook, Dinner Party with the Saints, might be the favorite cookbook that we've tried I all year. So. Mm -hmm. I think we could just go ahead and just say it. This has been our favorite one so far. And this one could be uh, really great for homeschooling families, kind of a cook around the world sort of curriculum with the saints thrown in, with religion thrown in. So this one has a lot of potential. So we'll have a link for this book down in the description and let us know if you try any recipes out of it. So thanks again so much for joining us in the kitchen and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.